Well, this weekend is a beautiful time to visit Bell Buckle, Tennessee, with the Daffodil Day Festival kicking off spring. And while you're there, you'll want to stop in for a bite at the Southern Charm Tea Room. Heather Williams says their recipe for scone pudding is irresistible, and it looks like it to me. It looks fabulous. Thank you. It's one of our best sellers. It really is. So. Yeah. All right. So tell us how that goes together. Um, pretty simple. We will start off with dry ingredients just to make the scone base. We need to make our scones first, and then we'll, you know, turn that back into our pudding. Okay. So I'll start with our dry ingredients into the flour, which is our sugar. And you're using self-rising flour self -rising there. Self-rising flour okay. on this one. And then our raisins, basically to separate the raisins. Okay. And once you get everything mixed up really well. Can I do your wet ingredients here? Absolutely. You're going to put your eggs, um, make sure that those are beaten, and then your vanilla into your wet. And then we'll incorporate that back into our flour, into the larger bowl. So you're kind of doing wet and dry A alternating? A little bit of both, yeah. We'll start off with some wet and then continue. And you'll just continue to do this until everything is incorporated properly. So if you just wanted to make scones, this is a great recipe for this that. Is an easy this is scone. almost a southern scone, right? Is, Not quite as dry as we the don't English make version. It quite as dry as the English version, and you can honestly cut it in any any shape you want to. I know people are used to the triangle shape. We do ours in a small biscuit shape. Mm -hmm. um, so really, just kind of make it your own. And this is where we start off. And also, you can put any fruit. We use raisins again because it's traditional. Mm -hmm. So we use the raisins, but. Uh, craisins work really well yeah. and kind of a dried fruit works really, really good. So when you get this all incorporated, you're going to put it into a 13 by 9 pan. Yes. How long are we baking? We're going to bake this on about 325 for about 40, uh, about 35 minutes really. You want to make sure it's golden brown, okay. um, but not overcooked. You don't want to overcook your scones. They want to be just a nice golden color. So when you've got your scones all finished, then you can turn it into the famous scone pudding from yes. the Southern Charm Tea Room. Yes. So you're going to start by crumbling scones uh, into a pie plate like this. Right. Once we get done with our scones, we we crumble everything in and just level off your pie plate. Okay. It's super simple. And then you'll add your um, eggs and milk and get those started a little bit. Okay. And cinnamon. And your cinnamon. Okay. So this is bread pudding, but made with scones, basically. Right. What a great idea. Yeah, we do the, instead of the, uh, you know, dry bread or stale bread version of bread pudding, we do ours with our fresh scones, and it kind of gives us a little bit of a twist. What a great idea. And then just incorporate that all over. And really you want to let this set for about 10 minutes so that it soaks up into the bread really well and it'll all pull in okay. and then add your, we use pecans, mm -hmm. just whatever nuts you like mm -hmm. over the top. And then we make a um, caramel glaze with equal parts butter and brown sugar and that will go back on top. Uh, when you make your glaze it usually comes off a little bit thinner so you can pour it on evenly. Cool. All right, so you've got a big thing going on on Saturday, and I know you guys Dude. are excited about this in Bell Buckle. Tell me about Daffodil Day. Daffodil Days is our nod to spring. It's just to get everybody out of their cabin fever. Um, we will have uh, our flower show. We're going to have a Little Miss and Little Mr. Daffodil Days, live music. Um, we are the smallest tree city USA in Tennessee, so we will have our saplings that will be given away there, which until they're, until they're gone, essentially. And the drive into Bell Buckle, there's you know, thousands and thousands of daffodils, so it's daffodils absolutely gorgeous. Daffodils all the way in and throughout town. All right, can we get scone pudding if we come to see you on absolutely. Saturday? Absolutely, I will make sure I have At the Southern Charm Tea Room. And you can have this beautiful setup right here uh, if you have afternoon tea with all these uh, wonderful pastries and uh, sandwiches and things like that. Mm -hmm. So many good reasons to go to Bell Buckle this weekend. Heather, how long are we baking this when we cook it? This you're going to bake for 45 minutes again at about 350 or cool. um, just until all the liquid is absorbed in the, the pie itself. It's going to be great. Warm with Ice cream is the best way to serve. It looks super good. Uh, the whole recipe is on our website at newschannel5.com, recipe number 5506. And you can go to uh, the Southern Charm Tea Room this Saturday when you go to Daffodil Day in historic Bell Buckle, Tennessee.